Israeli held prisoner released in Ethiopian Special Forces raid. According to local media sources, Ethiopian Special Forces released the 79-year-old Israeli citizen who had been held captive for three weeks close to the Sudanese border on Monday. Francis Adbabi was transported to a nearby city, and it is anticipated that he will return to Israel soon. Local police informed the Israeli embassy in Ethiopia of the occurrences. Adbabi, who resides in Rishon Lezion, was kidnapped earlier this month in the Gondar region by a criminal group seeking cash in exchange for his release. At the time of the tragedy, he was on his way to visit relatives in his hometown of Gondar in the country's north. He reportedly called his family and said, Help me, I am in the middle of the jungle, heavy rain is pouring. I was meant to leave on Sunday, but it appears that I will remain here. This is not something I would wish on my enemies. A few days later, Israeli and Ethiopian authorities stated that they believed the abduction was a fraud. Adbabe's family allegedly got in touch with Penina Tamano Shata of the National Unity Party after growing frustrated with how the Israeli Foreign Ministry handled the situation. They were connected to an Ethiopian Israeli person who had ties in the Ethiopian Special Forces, known as the Agassi Commandos, and Ethiopia's National Intelligence and Security Service, NISS, by Tamano Shata, the former Minister of Immigration and Assimilation. According to a Can News story, Adbabi's family subsequently engaged in discussions with the abductors, who asked for 2.5 million Ethiopian burr, about $44,000. The family claimed they were unable to pay the amount. Negotiations between Ethiopian police officers in plain clothes and those who represented the kidnappers broke down and resulted in a gunfight about two weeks ago. According to Ynet News, the operation on Monday resulted in another shootout during which Adbabi was rescued while Ethiopian officials simultaneously continued their investigation into the incident and detained several people associated with the kidnappers. Tamino Shata stated, It's unfortunate that the foreign ministry disregarded the family's concerns, and this is not the first example. The member of Knesset verified that the Adbabi had been taken hostage and that his life was in grave danger since he had already been brought towards the border with Sudan. The Israeli consulate in Ethiopia's capital, Addis Ababa, and the Department for Israelis Abroad, according to the foreign ministry, were in frequent contact with authorities and law enforcement officials and had been constantly following Adbabi's position.